Today's topic how to make computer faster if your computer is constantly crashed fear not it doesn't mean you need a new computer you can implement some simple fixes to make your computer run faster and most of them only take a few minutes to complete clean up your disk cleaning your disk will remove files that are no longer needed and can be safely deleted it also delete temporary files and empties the recycle bin. To perform a disk cleanup, follow these steps. Open the file manager and right click drive C. Go to the properties. Then click disk cleanup. Then delete. If your computer uses a hard drive, it might need to be defragmented. To defragment your drive, follow these steps. Go to Windows search bar and search defragment. Then simply open it. Click on drive C and click on optimize. Delete temporary files. Every time you visit a site on internet, a temporary file can be installed. After you have left the site, these files are no longer needed. So deleting them will free up space. Press on the keyboard Windows plus R button. Then type percentage temp percentage. Select all files and delete them. Again Windows plus R and type only temp. Then select all files and delete. Again, type P R E A F E T C H prefetch and then click continue. Then select all files and delete. Startup programs. As soon as the computer is turned on, some programs start working automatically in the background. As a result, your computer becomes slow. To prevent program from starting automatically, follow these steps. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete together. Then click on Startup. All of this work automatically when you turn on your computer. You can disable the ones you don't need. Remember. To never disable antivirus or any Windows programs. System performance. With this method, you can increase the speed of your computer a little more. Search control panel in the Windows search bar, then open it. Then click on system and security. Click on system. Then click on advanced setting. Then setting. And set adjust for best appearance. After applying all this process properly, restart your computer once. 